Carolyn Co. presents a weekly scripture. Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me for another brief moment in God's Word. Today we dive back into the seven deadly sins with sloth. Ugh. And that verse can be found in Proverbs chapter 6, verses 6 through 11. And again, Proverbs is in a gray area when it comes to the New and Old Covenants. Go to the ant, thou sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise, which, having no guide, overseer, or ruler, provideth her meat in the summer and gathereth her food in the harvest. How long wilt thou sleep, O sluggard? When wilt thou arise out of thy sleep? Yet a little sheep, a little, yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall thy poverty come, as one that travelleth, and thy, and thy want is an armed man. We all want sleep after a hard day's work. Work, but the question is, how much sleep is too much sleep? That would make us lazy. It would make us fatigued. Ironically. Well, it's obvious where the term sloth comes from. It comes from the sloth, the animal. The, one of the slowest mammals, if not the slowest mammal, I'm not sure of the actual statistics, it's on the face of the earth. Oh, and in, the, in here where it says that, um, where it refers to the ant as a she, I'm... Not sure, but I'm probably, but I'm fairly certain that every ant in your ant, in your average ant hill is a male, except for the queen. When uh, now this isn't a contradiction. I believe this is more referring to how the Bible refers to men as superior and women as inferior, and simply referring to the ant as a female because insects are beneath man. That's my interpretation, anyway. Absolutely no hate. Um, Hate towards a woman for me. I am not sexist. <laughs> well, I guess that's all I've got for you today. So, until next week, thank you for your time.